so to what was the, what was this building the administration um, this administration my cabinet is on the your first office floor. Was yes While you can see behind me the physical damage that the war continues to cause, the war has also left its mark in ways that we cannot see. Anxiety, fear, sleepless nights, other symptoms of the immense trauma that far too many people, including many children, are forced to endure. UNHCR is therefore also providing psychological support to thousands of people to deal with the impact of the war, which, by the way, will have far-reaching effects. We have delivered help like thermal blankets to stay warm, solar lamps to use during many, many electricity cuts, jugs to help carry water, all the basics. UNHCR is also helping those who fled to replace lost documents so they can receive pensions or social benefits. We see this all over the country. I have witnessed war in many places, but every time, like here in Dnipro, in eastern Ukraine, in front of this building, which was hit by 
a Russian uh, missile just nine days ago, earlier this January. But when I see this, when I see those apartments that have been divided into two pieces by the missile, destroyed, when I learn that 46 people have been killed in one hit, including six children under the rubble, I am left with little to say. I feel sad for the lives lost and the lives shattered, but I feel angry at a war that is impacting so tragically the lives of millions. Many killed, many wounded, injured, many made homeless, many made displaced or refugees abroad. The human impact of this war is growing by the day and in, the, in this very cold winter, suffering is multiplied. Can help better. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, I stand at the 21st century. We are Thank you for the help. We will reconstruct and we will start again. This is incredible. And I want to tell the world that it is not difficult to help Ukraine because the Ukrainians are helping themselves.